Well, sandhill cranes are going through a great recovery. They're expanding their range nationally. The populations are growing and their, the breeding range is expanding eastward as it has into Pennsylvania in the last 15, 20 years. Well, sandhill cranes, they're a large bird, but they're really taking a niche that's different from any other resident bird in Pennsylvania. You know, they could easily be confused or sometimes are confused with great blue herons long-legged wading birds. There's some similarities of appearance. The heron family, of course, it feeds predominantly in wetland situations, whereas the sandhill crane is just as comfortable in an open field where they may go after mice or grasshoppers or other prey of, of that type, but very much an upland habitat as opposed to the wetland habitats. Sandhill cranes do use wetland situations for nesting. They place the nest on the ground in typically in a, a bog or a wetland setting that gives them some protection from predators. So they're ground nesters. They'll clear out, bring a little vegetation in, and uh, place it in a wet location. Sandhill cranes have developed a, a large you know, human following, in part because in the Midwest, Nebraska, in migration, tens of thousands of cranes gather at staging areas, and they create a remarkable uh, concentration and display. They also have some things that we find appealing. They have a courtship that's elaborate. So we kind of relate to this bird that dances as it establishes its territory uh, and has very vocal and active behavior as its permanent pair bond is established. The best of our evidence is that these crane populations came from the West, and some of the studies that have been undertaken by the International Crane Foundation will give us some genetic background on the birds, and the banding effort will give an indication of where the birds move. We hope to be able to prove which population these cranes are associated with. We're interested in sandhill crane uh, dispersal and movements, and how this growing population um, has expanded its geographic range and possibly where they came from. The population in the Great Lakes went through a historic bottleneck in the 1930s, and we don't know what the previous numbers were, but we know they were reduced down to about 300 birds with about 25 to 30 breeding pair in and around Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. Since then, the population has been allowed to recover through stopping of harvest, stopping of wetland conversion, and uh, their adaptation to using agriculture as a main food source. And now the population has rebounded to about 50 to 60,000 birds, and they've also expanded their range to include the states of Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, um, and also back into Ontario. And so the population has really um, bounced back from that bottleneck. And we suspect that a main part of the population here in Pennsylvania is probably from the Great Lakes, but we want to try and understand more about that. The first evidence of sandhill cranes nesting in Pennsylvania was in Lawrence County in 1993. Uh, it was quite a few years before an actual nest was found, but over a period of years after 93, uh, we observed adult pairs in the spring and then later young associated with that, clearly indicating that local nesting had occurred. And that population grew from Lawrence County east all the way to Tioga and Columbia County and uh, continues to seem to be uh, increasing. The core place continues to be in the, the Butler and Lawrence County area where that breeding population is expanded and every year you have um, pairs established in the farm fields and around Pensy Swamp and, and some of the game lands there. And then in the fall, uh, the young of, of the year gather and can often be seen out in the open fields. Uh, but in migration, increasingly, uh, there's a possibility of seeing sandhills almost anywhere. When we ban sand, wild sandhill crane chicks, typically five to six weeks of age, is the smallest that we like to uh, try and handle because they're a little bit more stable. Um, but also they can hold an adult-sized band and they can grow into that band um, for the rest of their life. The Game Commission will continue to monitor the crane population as this natural event of population expansion unfolds before us. It's an exciting period just to see the diversity of life in Pennsylvania increase in this way.